So sometimes in the NFL, it's better to be lucky than good sometimes. And it was the the Saints kind of got lucky the way <laughs> the end. These kickers, these situations are crazy. These guys are head cases. And sometimes the ball doesn't bounce your way. This Sunday, it bounced the Saints way. But in this video, I'm going to talk about what happened in the Browns versus Saints game and what to expect from the Saints going forward against the Falcons this week. We're starting right now. What up, dude? What's up, everybody? It's Aaron Duncan here the Nets Area Blunt the Sports Talk. You guys already know what it is. It's a channel we might not tell you what you want to hear. And I'm definitely going to tell you what you need to hear. And I'm trying to recap this game from Sunday. The Saints, the offense, man, was feeling like it was stuck in mud, shooting themselves in the foot, fumbles, all kind of sloppy turnover, sloppy play. Um, it, it, it wasn't pretty. I mean, I don't, I didn't really know how much of an impact Mark Ingram was going to have because it seems to be a lack of balance in the run, between the run game and the passing game. Um, like a power running game. I know it kind of caught us through earlier some short yardage scenarios, but Saints seemed like we couldn't just get out their own way um, with the fumbles and whatnot. And you got to give the Browns credit. I mean, their defense played hard. Uh, I predicted that they were going to play hard. I mean, we know Greg Williams is familiar with him. He's going to get he's going to get his guys to play hard. And uh, if you've been watching, excuse me, the Browns through a preseason, you know they got some guys that can play and play hard. Um, but it just seems like, I don't know, Gillis Lee, he's not, I mean, he's definitely not Mark Ingram, uh, a big time back like that, but you would think you'd be able to orchestrate some kind of run game with him, a power running game with him, but I don't know. Um, Kamara, they're trying to, trying to balance, trying to not to overuse him, and then these couple of weeks that Mark Ingram's out, and not to mention that he's a little bit lighter, so the power running game in short yards isn't always his cup of tea. Yes, he's dangerous in space, and he's going to do what he does regardless. He's going to gain yards. His balance is ridiculous, and he's a playmaker on the outside. Um, but you still need that running game whenever you need to. There's a scenario where you need to run, and the offense, know, I mean, defense knows you need to run. Can you get a yard? And that'll be the telltale. Mark Ingram, he'll be back soon enough. But, hey, a win is a win in the NFL. No week is easy. Yeah, <laughs> uh, it, it sucks for their kicker, Gonzalez, to miss that kick, but – it is what it is. Will Will Lutz drop some little heartfelt message for him? Like, oh, I feel for you, brother. Da, da, da. No, Will Lutz, the only reason you're able to give that advice is because he blew that field goal and you made you made yours. Had, we, had they lost the game and you missed that field goal earlier in the game, somebody would be probably talking to you, giving you a heartfelt message because you blew that 44-yard field goal, which is pretty much a layup. You hooked it left, especially inside in the dome. He used the way better than that, so I'm not really tripping on that. However, uh, it's a time and a place for the pot to call the kettle black. Um, defense, I want to see some improvement in the pass rush. There was a little bit on the inside. However, the Browns' offense is like, I don't know. They they got kind of creative with their receivers. I mean, Tyrod Taylor like the check down king, so it was kind of hard to make those plays there. But you definitely saw an improvement from last week as far as coverage. I mean, the guys, some guys did get uh, picked on. Crawley, he got kind of roasted by Callaway, um, which was – Ridiculous. That was a good ball, but um, I don't know. I mean, it seems like guys are are uh, they're not they're not shying away from taking those shots. They saw something on film, so it's gonna keep coming. So Crowley's gonna have to get it right. Patrick Robinson he caught some work too, so the guys are gonna have to get it right. I mean, you see it on film. Teams are not gonna be afraid to try the secondary if they see that you put something on film that they like. Um, but you gotta be gotta be happy with the improvement going up from giving up forty eight points to. 18. Uh, yes, it's the Browns, but it's still the NFL. They still get paid millions of dollars, so you'll take that. Uh, like I said, you want to see a little bit more pass rush up front off the edge, but I mean, Tyrod Taylor did a good job of getting the ball out quick to neutralize that pass rush, but it is what it is. You want to see a little bit better tackling also. I think I, I thought they played very well against the run game, though. Pretty much kept Carlos High bottled up for the most part. Um, yeah, they dumped it off to Duke Johnson a little bit, and they got... They got a couple decent runs when they needed to, but overall, I got to be satisfied with that run game. Um, but Atlanta's coming up this week. Uh, they got their first win against Carolina. Carolina's defense is better than the Saints' defense right now. Let's just be it is what it is. I don't care how many yards the Panthers gave up. They're going to have a better defense. However, I expect this one to be an old-fashioned shootout. We'll just see if the team defense can get some turnovers and make enough plays. That bending but don't break mentality is going to come up big. 
Um, they don't have to be spectacular. I'm not expecting them to be a dominant. They were only middle of the pack last year, and that was almost good enough to get to the big game. So they just need to be able to come up with some timely turnovers, be able to stand up in certain scenarios when they need to. His offense is going to have to crank up. Uh, you know the fact is going to be coming, especially when they see those DBs on on film getting uh, roasted for the first couple of weeks on some deep passes. So the the uh, Saints have way, I mean, excuse me, the Falcons have way more weapons than the Browns had, and their quarterback is a lot more aggressive than Tyrod Taylor. Um, so we'll see what happens. It's an all familiar rivalry. It's going to be a good game on Sunday at 1 o'clock. Um, I can't wait myself. It's going to be in Atlanta, of course. I expect the shootout, but I'll give my official prediction on the live stream on Wednesday. Um, if you haven't already, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit the, hit the thumbs up and hit the bell icon also. That way you get a notification every time I drop a video. Like I said, Wednesday is the live stream at 8 o'clock. I'll break down a little bit more preview of the game, but you guys let me know down below in the comments what you thought about the game. What do you think about the defense? And what do you think about the offense? Are you, you, you kind of be, are you discouraged, encouraged? Yes, those mistakes like fumbles and stuff can be easily corrected, but what do you think about the offense? Do you think that we'll be able to get it together before Amar Ingram, or do you think it's just something that's going to have to happen with time once Ingram gets back and everything will be right with the world? Let me know down below in the comments below. But without further ado, I'm Aaron Duncan signing off for Necessary Blunt and Sports Talk. I'll see you next time.